Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So will this area converge or will it diverge? So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, realize that this thing here is trapped. It, well, if you look at sine of x, if you look at sine of x, realize that this thing, the highest value that this thing could, could be is 1. The lowest would be, would be negative 1. So the highest that this thing here could be is 1. So, the, so 1 plus 3 would be 4. And then you've got your square root here. So this thing here must be less than, this thing here must be less than or equal to, to this thing here. To this thing here. And then if, if you look at this, the lowest value that this thing here could be is negative 1. So now negative 1 plus 3, that would be 2. So 2 over square root of x. So hang on, 1 to infinity dx here. And then, so, so, so this area here, is, is trapped in between here and in between here. So the trick here, the trick to doing this is to realize that this thing here is trapped in between negative 1 and 1. So if you look at this, it's, um, the, 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 uh, the, the highest value that this thing here could be is 1. So 1 plus 3 would be 4. The lowest value that this thing here could be is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 would be 2. So if you look at the graph, the red line here, this this here is represented by by the red line, and then this here is represented by by the purple line, and this here is represented by the uh, the blue line. So uh, so here you should realize that this thing here. If you, so so currently currently this thing is trapped in between here and in between here. So you should realize that um, you should realize that when you take the integral of this. From 1 to infinity dx here. Well, the 2 can be moved out because it's a constant. So now this is a 1. So now it's the integral of 1 over square root of x. The integral, the integral of 1 over the square root of x as from 1 to infinity, it will diverge. Now you should know that it diverged because we, we've seen this many times in the past. You should ingrain this in your mind. So hang on, let's go back here. Let's go back uh, a few steps. So this thing here, is bigger or equal to this thing here, and as it turns out, the integral of this from one to infinity dx, this the, the integral of this would diverge. Well, this being bigger than this, um, this will have no choice but to also diverge. So wait there. Currently, we are here. By the way, we don't care about this. Suppose this thing here diverges, but uh, but this thing being bigger than this, it really tells us nothing about this because because if if this thing here diverge, if this thing here diverge, then this being smaller could could diverge, or it could, or it could converge. So uh, so this tells us nothing. We we should be using this because we know that this is always less than or equal to this. You see the the uh, if this thing here diverge, then this being always bigger than this will have no choice but to also be uh, also diverge. So so wait out. So just so just remember that this thing is bigger or equal to this thing. So hang on. So this thing here is always bigger or equal to this thing here. Now let's because this is a constant, take it out. That will then give you this. Now you should recognize that this thing here, you should just know by now that the uh, the area of this thing will diverge. Well well if, if this thing here diverge then when you times a constant, if if this thing here, if the area of this thing here just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, when you times two, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The the point here is that if this thing here diverge, this is a constant, then the whole thing here will diverge. Well, if this whole thing here diverge, then then this being bigger, always bigger than this, this will have no choice but to also diverge. So this thing here will diverge. Okay, this thing here will diverge.